Good morning everyone and yes I'm still wearing my pajama because I just woke up and I am currently eating my breakfast right now. Look, we got some tuna, sausage, uh, mango and fried rice and we're drinking milk. Yeah. As a part of my good day part 3 I would like to share the top 5 first words I learned here in Dumaguete City. Those are Visayan words that I learned. <coughs> okay, are you ready for our new lesson? Okay, the first word was Murag. Yeah, Murag means like, like, like. Or you can say, it's just like, it's just like, it's just like, yeah. And, um, yeah, the first time I heard that word was in the classroom. My classmate was answering a question. I don't know, I don't remember what was the question, but he keeps saying, I guess he can't explain it well, so he has to give example, so he keeps saying, Mom, murashag, murag, 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 and I got so annoyed. And until I went back at the dorm, <coughs> and then wherever I go, I keep saying murag, 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 murag. It sounds like a frog. <laughs> it sounds like a frog. But it was alright because that's the first word I learned. And then. And the second word I learned was somehow bad. Um, it's yawa. Yawa, yeah, that's the second word I learned. I did not know the meaning at all before, but it's just like um, yawa is, um, what do you mean? Like, like devil thing like that. So it's really rude if you'll say yawa to a person or to others. Um, I learned that because my classmate asked me to go to that store near the dormitory or beside the dormitory and he told me um, go to that store and ask for yawa and then what's that you know it's a sweet candy made of milk and sugar and he said that um, it is called yema in Tagalog then I went there and asked for it. Hey miss, do you have yawa? And she got mad and she threw something on me. And I got scared and I went away. And then I asked my classmate, what's the meaning? And then yeah, he told me there. Like the meaning is like devil or evil, something like that. So of course, now I understood why that sales lady got angry. And then the third word was um, usa. Yeah, usa means one. But at first, it was really funny because when I went to the market, I was buying pork. And then I told the lady, I'm buying pork. And then she asked me, usa? Usa? Then I said, no, because I, I know the meaning of usa in Tagalog. It means in English it's deer. So I said, no, not usa. I want pork, the baboy. And then um, she said, yeah, usa. I said, not usa, baboy. And then um, until I guess she noticed that I didn't understand what this usa means in Bisaya. So she explained and to she asked me again. Uh, so you are buying one kilo of pork. I said yes Then finally we understood each other then the fourth was Pila Pila um, Means how much I learned it because I keep hearing people when they go to the store They'll they'll say hey pila na pila na pila pila and then um, when they took the tricycle pila pila oh, I heard that actually first in the tricycle um what happened was every day I go to school like four times a day then I go back at the dorm I am taking tricycle 
and then um, um, I always pay 150 pesos and that's too much and I notice that people are just giving coins small bills like six pesos or seven I don't know I don't remember um, and then I hear people sometimes ask like pila and then I ask my friend what does pila means and then um, he said how much and ah okay and then I told him the story and then he got mad why are you paying 150 pesos the, the fare is just only six pesos Ah, okay, I didn't know. So next time you better ask Pila. Okay, Pila. Then every day I'm using the word Pila when I go to the store, when I am taking the tricycle or wherever. So I keep asking Pila, Pila. Then um, the fifth, but the most important, is actually not a word. I'm sorry about that earlier. I, I said five words, but the fifth was a phrase yeah um want to know it now okay um the fifth word um no not word phrase is palanga tikaw or gihugugma tikaw yeah gihugma tikaw that's that's the right phrase gihugma tikaw which means i love you and i always say that every day i love you all um yeah i learned that I'm not gonna tell the story, of course. Well, anyway, that's the most important. We should know how to love and be loved. So, everybody have a great day, and I will eat my breakfast now. Ciao with you guys later. Bye-bye.